So Pierre Polyev is stood in Parliament and he's trying to ban mandates for the mandated thing that we had to go through a couple of years ago. He's trying to push that through Parliament. It looks like the Liberal government want to bring back mandates. You know, the, the mandates that start with the letter V, the V mandates, the mandates that we can't really talk about on YouTube or on any social platform that's in Canada because we're censored to, uh, to share in what they would call misinformation and we would probably call the truth. Yeah, we're censored from calling out the truth. So I'm looking at X, formerly Twitter, <laughs> she's what I call it now, and uh, they're saying that Pierre refuses to vote and the CPC refuse to vote for the mandates. We've got a lot to thank Pierre for on this one because these mandates, all they do is make people unemployed by making them unable to work because of mandates. Mandates forced on us by Trudeau and his Liberal government. Let's have a listen to what, just a short bit of what uh, Pierre said in Parliament the other day. He had the temerity to go on television about three months ago and claim he had never forced anyone to get it. That he claims personal choice. He wanted us all to forget the way he divided and insulted and named called millions of people right across this country, patriotic, law-abiding, decent people. So if he really believes he never forced mandates on anyone, surely he'll be happy to vote for this bill to ensure that those mandates don't apply anymore and will never be reimposed again. And now, let's just move swiftly on to Twitter. Seamus O'Regan said that Pierre Polyev tabled a bill to ban the V mandates today. We have to waste time debating it. I don't think that's a waste of time. I think, I don't think it should even be debated. Do you think it should be d debated? Really? Hey, debated? No, I don't think so. That's what Polyev wants to talk about right now. Not affordability, not inflation, which he has been talking about, especially while eating apples. Not housing, he's been talking about that all the time. Not the war in Europe or the Middle East, he's talked about that all the time. He can talk about two or three things, you know. Anyway, and then the next tweet down is Doug Elfinson. In the wake of a P word that killed more Canadians than World War II, Pierre Polyev wants to ban all current and future mandates. He is willing to let people die in order to satisfy an ideologically driven base. Shameful. No, no, it's not shameful. If you want to get the thing that they're mandating, go and get it. No one's stopping you. Just, just don't force it on everyone. And if they don't take it, don't tell them they can't travel and they can't do things. Peter Ratcliffe says, CPC attempting to ban vac... Almost said it. Almost said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> I'll beep that bit out. Mandates is an attempt to ban the government from ever using si science as a governing principle to improve lives. Science. Yeah, science, yeah. We, we could talk for hours on the government and science. I remember when the CPC was daily hammering the Trudeau government to get us more Vs faster. Yeah, we we need a lot of Vs. We need a lot of them because a lot of people want to take it, but not everybody wants to take it. Some people like me get really, 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 really sick from it. Just from just from the, the mandated thing that they want you to have. They get really sick. I get really, 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 really sick from it. So I might as well just get sick from what it's trying to stop me from getting, which I've never had yet, by the way, rather than just get sick because I want to get sick. Until the V's arrive and helps. It's, yeah. I just thought I'd pass that down to you guys. If it wasn't for the Conservatives, these mandates would be across the board already. We'd be mandated to have them. We'd be lining up like good little citizens getting our mandated thing. Thank you, Pierre, for standing up for Canadians. Till next time.